Well, tonight it is gone. 50,000 lights, hours of planning and work all gone tonight, but this famous Southington home has gone dark just before Christmas. Well, thousands have been out there enjoying those lights display, all set to the movie music from that movie Frozen, but not everyone is getting into the holiday spirit. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in Southington tonight with how some are saying that Scrooges out there ruin that Christmas tradition. Bob? Yeah, you know what? There are only a few people saying that, though, in the neighborhood we talked to. A lot of people excited, happy to see those lights. They are right over here in this big dark spot. 50,000, as you said, gone. But that's because when they were playing the music in the huge light show, people would back up here on Lovely Drive around the corner here on Frost, which would take off down towards the highway. They said it was backed way up, all causing all kinds of traffic problems. And tonight, it has gone dark after many days of bringing joy to children. This is what the lights of Lovely look like in Southington. More than 50,000 bulbs pulsing and strobing to the music of Disney's Frozen. Now the only sound heard in the front of the house? People donating even with the lights off. We got four canned goods. We picked them up this afternoon with the intentions of coming to see the lights and got here and no lights were on. The only lights at the house? This cancellation sign. The plug pulled because so many people were coming to see the spectacular display. It was causing a traffic jam in the neighborhood. We love it here, and we're really disappointed that it's not on. And you're right across the street, right in the middle of the traffic. I love it, and it's ruining a lot of little kids' Christmases because they look forward to it. I told my four-year-old she's been talking about it all day, so I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, you know she loves Frozen. That's all she's been talking about. That's all she wants for Christmas. Now to keep people away, the police have put up temporary no parking signs all up and down the road. You can't stop, and the lights are out, and also. The police are getting a little help from the rain. They say maybe that will keep people at home instead of out here trying to see the lights even though they're closed. People have been stopping, trying to get a glimpse of Frozen. I was very sad when this happened because I really want to see how the music was going with this. and Because um, I like um, light shows. And they've been doing this for the past four or five years. This one just was so popular. A lot of people came here. It also got a lot of media attention. So what's happening now for 2015? They say they don't know. It's a lot of lights to take down, set up for all the complaints. They say they're going to have to see. But right now, they want you to know they are closed. Don't come see the lights. If you want to give and donate, donate to your local food pantry. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Southington, News 8. Well, as you can imagine, the story is getting a ton of attention on our Facebook page. Many folks say they love visiting that light display. Jennifer wrote to us saying, this absolutely breaks my heart. We've been going there since 2009. I'm glad my kids got to see it on Sunday. And Crystal wrote, so sad things like this that make our children's faces just light up. Need to be stopped because a bunch of adults just don't want to deal with the traffic. Some people did understand, though, like David, who wrote, I can almost sympathize with their neighbors. Imagine hordes of cars every night coming down your street, not allowing other traffic to pass. 